if you have been looking for a tutorial that is going to show you which way is easy to do your forelock, then this is the tutorial for you. That's good. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is all about me doing my faux locks. I'm going to be showing you guys an easy, easy way on how to do your faux locks. One thing I want to tell you is that I am not going to be using any needles. I'm not going to be crocheting anything. I am going to be doing everything free hand. So that's all I'm going to be doing today. It's a very, very easy process. You're going to see for yourself. And I hope that you do enjoy watching this video. Please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. Please like, please comment. If you don't want to subscribe now, it's fine. You can subscribe at the end, but I promise you, you are going to be subscribing at the end because this work is very beautiful as you can see. Yeah, let's get right into the video. As I've said in the beginning, we are going to be doing a full locks tutorial and I'm going to show you one of the most easiest way to do your full locks. I cannot use any needles whatsoever. I am not good at using any needles. So that's why my full locks are not crochet full locks. So I'm going to be doing everything freehand. The only thing that I'm going to be doing to lock my hair so that it doesn't untie is basically a stopper which is one of the designs for your hair if you want your hair to be designed and all glitz and glam then that's definitely what i'm going to be using but other than that i'm not going to be using anything whatsoever so now i'm going to show you the packaging of my faux locks this is my pack it is durban twist dread um from shreta so as you can see it is scarlet hair and it comes in a packet like this this only costed 40 rand because it was on sale but i don't think it goes over 100 rand and i bought two packets but um i'm only going to use one and a half because obviously i am going to cut my thread into half because if i use like the whole um extension is going to be too long it's going to reach my ankles and i am very short so i can't um, imagine myself having so so long um locks and i just don't want that it's going to be heavy on my head and i just don't want anything to be heavy so on this packet it states that it is super lightweight and that's what i've been hearing from people who have done this hairstyle they did say that it is very very lightweight if you're looking for something that is not heavy on your head then you should definitely use um this packet you should definitely do this hairstyle because it's definitely for you if you're a person that suffers from severe headaches and everything then this is definitely for you it's nice i love it and it's in 22 inch so if you don't mind having locks that are 22 inch then it's fine you can just leave it as is and don't cut it but i choose to cut it because it's too long for me so i want something that is going to be like just above my butt um, and not longer than that because it's just gonna be it's, it's not gonna be nice. I don't like that So if you want to buy this then definitely go to your shredder and just buy two packets If you feel like you need more then you should buy more now Let me just open this up for you guys so that you can see now. This is my locks These are my locks as you can see they come like this. They're so so long guys. This is the uncut one yeah guys it's, it's long it's really really long like it is so long and i had to cut it in two so that it doesn't become long so when i cut it in two it's gonna be you know like just on my butt or just above my butt so the first thing that you do before you do your locks is this so you need to do pom-poms as you can see i have pom-poms on my head there's literally exactly 40 of them on my head so let me just show you like in the middle and the back so there's 40 of them and yeah you just need at least 40 but it really does depend on the size that you want you can do more than 40 if you want to or you can do less than 40 but it really depends on what you like doing so before you do all of these thingies then you need to wash your hair you need to wash your hair you need to have clean hair so that your lines can be proper and neat moisturize your hair condition your hair and so that guys our work can be 
perfect and neat and wonderful and nice and relevant as you can see my lines are all clean and they all open up so well so you also need to do that as well wash your hair moisturize your hair make your hair the most beautiful thing ever and now i'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do just before you start rolling your hair this is our cut lock tread whatever you want to call it this is our cut one so as you can see it's long 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 but it's not that long like it reaches my butt so that's what i wanted to do the first thing that you need to do is just take your lock you also need your small comb so it's it's optional like you can use your own fingers if you want to but if you are lazy like me then you're obviously gonna need um, your, your your comb but you're gonna need your comb for like the tip and then when you go down you can also use your fingers so you're gonna take your comb and take your thread and then you just untie it like this you just untie it and make sure that it is equal to the length of your hair you just need to go a little bit down so that when you roll um you can have much more space if you do make a mistake by um not rolling like equivalent to your hair so you need to just go down a little bit more so that it can be the size of your hair length but just have space ooh, just have space um to roll your hair um, as much as possible so you just take your, your your hair like this and take your your comb and just you know untie it like this and i'm going to be using um the ones that i untied i untied 20 of them yesterday it was just a lot so i just have 20 of them left again to untie them but i'm just going to do that along the way so as you can see this is the one that i had untied yesterday as you can see this is the length that i wanted to be so i'm just gonna and oh i'm just gonna untie this one to the length of this because this is how my hair is gonna be um rolled over this is the hardest part about this hairstyle really the untying and the work that you need to do before doing your locks is just a lot but it is possible and you're definitely going to be able to do this now i think this is enough as you can see it's a very fast method but it is <laughs> it is time consuming because there's just a lot it's like doing 40 of these is just a lot so as you can see it's the same length as the one that i was using as you can see it's the same length and yeah now i can start rolling before we start rolling you need to have stoppers and stoppers can be design stoppers you can design your hair but you're actually stopping your hair from untying so that's what i'm going to be showing you right now so these are the stoppers that i had bought i bought them at bargain baskets they were only 10 rand each and there's 20 of them inside so that is like very very cheap these are the stoppers that i bought as you can see i'm sure most of you guys know um where to get these but i bought them at bargain baskets and you can get them anyway where they sell hair products and hair and all things hair then you can definitely have these and then i bought others which are colorful um it's different colors as you can see i do have my pink my purple my red my green my silver and my gold so it really depends on the colors that you like you can use your gold or you can just mix your colors you really need these if you're not going to use um your wool and whatever so if you are going to use your wool then you can use these just to design your hair but i am using these because i just want to stop my hair from untying that's basically it because i'm not going to use any wool because i can't use any wool like i can't use needles at all because you need to use needles if you are using wool and i can't do that like it is impossible for me to do that so i'm just gonna take my strand like this and then just hold my hair like this and then just start rolling just start rolling from you roll from the tip as you can see i am rolling my hair like this you're just rolling guys you just roll till the end 
basically just rolling and rolling and rolling as you can see it is covered fully so you just need to cover all your hair that's why i said that you need to go a little bit more down when you are untying so that you can have space to roll your hair nicely and then now we are at the end of our hair of our pom-pom so now it's at the end as you can see you just roll it like this so i'm just gonna take one of these just open it up like this and then here at the end we put it in and then you close make sure that it is tight guys so that it doesn't get untied You need to cover all your hair as you can see I covered all my hair so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing it is really easy as you have seen it is really 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 easy this is what I'm gonna be doing for all my hair so yeah let me just continue with the process and I'm gonna do like two more on camera then I'm gonna do all my hair off camera and then come back and show you the finished look so let's get back work so really you ain't gonna hit me back yeah now it's all just you got me on blast down you're over it i've been done we're so toxic can't get enough oh going and say it like a mantra you know what you want do ya No matter what you tell yourself I should have known that we could We could never be friends I hear you just thought we could But we could never be friends type of way well that's fantastic nothing that's something and now it's drastic don't tell your friends hey guys i just wanted to give you an update i am halfway through as you can see i've done i don't know how many but i'm halfway through i think because it's just tiny bits and pieces that is left let me show you guys and you can see this is what is left right now about to finish i just wanted to give you a quick update i'm really tired not that i'm tired but it's really really hot like doing something while it is hot like this it is so exhausting so i'm just gonna continue doing all of this um yeah guys like i'm really tired like it is so hot like it's really hot guys like, it is really hot so that's that's just what i wanted to tell you guys just wanted to give you a quick update i'm gonna come back when everything is done so yeah guys um i'm gonna check it later let me just continue doing this as you guys can see that i am done doing my hair it is really really beautiful i love my forelocks so much and it was a very very easy process it literally took at least three hours but I would have took less than three hours because I was busy untying them. If you do untie them the night before, then I'm sure you're going to finish your forelocks at least two hours. In two hours, you're going to be done with your forelocks. So this was a really, really easy process. And I love my forelocks so much. Like, they look so cute. They also look so cute in this hairstyle. I would have loved if I did more of them because I think there's less. 40 is just... I initially thought that 40 was going to be okay, but at least 60 guys, like at least, at least 60 of these would have been better. I just want to turn around for you so that you guys can see the whole full view of my head, okay? Yeah.
thank you so so much guys for watching and i hope that you did enjoy watching this tutorial it is really 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 easy and i hope that you are going to do these faux locks on your own if you are a lazy person like me who does not go to the salon or who does not have money to go to the salon and actually get people to do the work for you then you can also do the work for yourself like go to your nearest dresser buy your own faux locks and watch my video thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to comment and do not forget to like and share share to the people that you think they would love to see this video i'd appreciate if you shared this video with other people and jay let's let's grow this channel like let's really grow this channel and oh i just want to thank all the subscribers that did subscribe to my channel yes there are new subscribers here thank you so much guys for subscribing and there are also other videos that you can also watch and just go to my channel watch any and everything on my channel and just enjoy whatever you want to enjoy on my channel like this channel will be here forever yeah so guys thank you so much and i'll see you next time